Yes, sir. Ready? My name is Jimmy Taylor. I'm from uh, Lee Summit, Missouri, in, unless it gets cold, and then I'm from Siesta Key. Um, Very nice place. Yes. Um, I just want to say, you know, I kind of follow the thou shalt not commit false witness, which to me means that you, you say the truth when you're witnessing to people. I know you don't really kind of square people in here, but I just want to let you know. Oh, you are. Oh, you do. Oh, when I signed the piece of paper, right? Okay, well, some people may not be paying attention to that. Um, so I don't go by what I see on TV or the Internet or just what I've heard. I stick to the truths that I know. Um, and I, I, So I want to stick to that, and I want to stick to the rights of the uh, people in Sarasota. I've been in the pet industry for over 35 years. Uh, I started working at a pet store when I was literally 17 years old, and um, I've, I've, I've always either worked for Petland or I've uh, owned... Uh, Petland franchises, or for about three years, I worked for the Hunt Corporation. So I've been in the in industry for 35 years. I have visited and spoken with probably uh, more breeders than most people in this room, and that says a lot because a lot of these people have visited many, many breeders. Um, and, I, and most of the time, I was doing that just because I wanted to know where did my puppies come from. Um, keeping with what I know again, uh, let me start with uh, pet breeders. In the late 70s, early 80s, you've probably already heard this, but there, there wasn't any legislation in this industry, and the things that, the, that were happening were not right. And, of course, the USDA took on the task, and you've heard all about that, so I won't go over all that again. Um, but it's obvious that the legislation has grown to that big book you guys have that's like this thick. Um, and I just want to point out that there, it's, it's to a point of, Overregulation, I think that's been pointed out as well, to the point to where if your kids or you yourself wanted to breed dogs, uh, assuming you already own the land, you're going to have tens of thousands of dollars to come up with. It'll probably cost you more than putting your kids through college. Um, so the regulation of a licensed breeder is uh, very stringent. Um, if you have visited... I don't know, southern Missouri, or maybe Arkansas, or parts of Tennessee, or even Ohio, um, you're going to find people that live in conditions much worse than the dogs live in uh, in a licensed breeding facility. In 2007 and 2008, I owned Sarasota Petland. Um, Dr. Cohen, who you heard from earlier, was actually my veterinarian. Um, during that time, we had 15 to 20,000 people, people of Sarasota, come into the store. Same thing uh, Brad Parker talked about, to play with the puppies, to socialize with the puppies. That's what they wanted to do. Uh, we sent home a lot of puppies, uh, but not as many as, I mean, those, that, that, like he said, maybe 100 puppies went home in a month. Well, you know, that means... Uh, there was tens of thousands of people that came through the door that came in just to socialize with them. Now, earlier I saw you guys kind of ask some of these people, the breeders in particular, well, would you sell direct? And, of course, somebody kind of answered that before is, well, sure, they could sell direct to the public, but like he said, I don't want to drive. If, you're, if you live in Sarasota, you don't want to drive around to get those puppies. I wanted to bring up a point with that. What about the people who want a puppy but just don't really know what kind? They know that I want a little puppy. There's no better place than a pet store to go where you can see 20, 30 small breed puppies, purebred puppies that you can choose from. Maybe you want a Yorkshire Terrier. Maybe a Yorkshire Terrier is not the right puppy for you. But when you go to a breeder and they have Yorkshire Terriers, what are you gonna leave with? Well, all you have is a Yorkshire Terrier, so that's what you're gonna get. Um, If you're a resident of, like I said, if you're looking for a particular puppy, when you go to Petland, you get to socialize with all those puppies. You get to pick what you want. Um, after selling my store in Sarasota, I became a uh, consultant for Petland, and I worked with the Parker family. And I can tell you right now, I've never been associated with uh, somebody like uh, Brad and Kristen Parker who will take best practices and 
actually implement them and make them better. Uh, okay, I guess that's it. Thank you.